Jesus. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. Hey, glory. It's the blood of Jesus that sets me free. The blood of Jesus that makes us free. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to be grateful this morning. Anybody grateful that the blood makes you free this morning? Anybody grateful that the blood of Jesus redeemed you? I want to sing a little louder than before. shake it off. Why are you letting that affect you? Why are you letting that bother you? Why are you tripping off of that? You just need to get up and keep on going. Our former generation, that's what they taught us. Get up, keep on going. Don't sit there crying. Don't sit there worried about it. Don't sit there trying to figure out how you're going to pay your bills. You all depressed. They will tell you, get up, shake that off and get back on your feet. But, 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 but some of us don't like that word because we like to, we like to play in our soup. We, 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 like to, we, like, we like to be depressed. We like to, we like to um, stay up in the room. We like to not answer the phone. Do I have any witnesses in, in, in here? We like, we, we like to complain. We, like, we just like to sit around and, and be, to, be depressed and write it on Facebook so everybody can respond to our um, complaining and try to get response. You know, we put our sad, sad face. You know, we click on, and the devil is so tricky. The devil is so tricky. He wants you to click on the little link to say how you feeling today. I'm feeling bad today. I'm feeling sad today. Are you listening to me? But just lean on somebody that says, shake it off. Yes, 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 shake, 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 shake it off. Tell somebody, this is, this is why we're in this fight. You may get knocked down, but shake it off. Um. Yes, yes, yes. You may be going through something. You may have got hit. You may got a few little scars, but shake, shake it off. It's, it's not for you to die. Have I got a witness? If God brought you through the last thing, he's going to bring you through this that you're going through right now. Have I got a witness? And some of us cry about the smallest stuff. I can't pay my metro bill. I'm upset. I can't pay this. I can't do that. Don't you know that folks is dealing with some real life issues? Have I got a witness in this house today? And, and, and I, I, you know what? I ain't, got, I ain't got time to worry about what people talking about. I don't, I don't have time. I don't have time to be sad. I got other stuff I could be doing. I'm, tr I'm trying to fulfill my purpose. I'm trying to get to my destiny. I'm trying to do what the Lord wants me to do. So I ain't got time to be tripping off stuff that I cannot control. If God is allowing me to deal with it, if God is allowing it to come into my life, it must be ordained by God. And at the end of what I'm going through, God is going to get the glory. Have I got a witness in here? So somebody that may be looking sad around you came in here looking like they've been sucking sour lemons. They've been beat up and then we get beat up. But you are in a place of refuge right now. Have I got a witness in here? Turn to somebody and say, this is the place of refuge. This is a place of hope. This is a place of victory. And before we send you back out there to deal with this mean world and that devil that you got to fight, we going to learn how to shake some stuff off. Have I got a witness in here? 
Just say with me, I'm going to learn how to shake it off. I'm going I'm to I'm shake, shake it off. I'm going to shake it off. I, I'm going I'm to shake, I'm going to shake it off. I'm going to shake, 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 shake the devil off. Shake stuff off. Oh, you can talk about me all you want. You can talk about me because if you're talking about me, you're just talking about yourself. Have I got a witness? Because you ain't got nothing else to do. Thank, thank you for the publicity. Thank you for the marketing. Because why you talking about me, you just getting people in a position to watch God's glory on my life. Because when God fixes me and when God picks me back up and when God dusts me off, have I got a win? Because I'm messed up now, but I ain't going to look like this always because God is doing some stuff that I can't even explain. All I know that God is doing it. So hell, talk about me all you want. Just know I'm going to shake it off. Do I, have any, do I have any witnesses in here? That's how come y'all, some of y'all making it right now because you learn how to shake some stuff off. You learn how to shake some stuff off. You've been praying. You've been fasting. You've been trying to live right. You've been trying to do better. You've been trying to hear from God. You've been in master life. You've been in life's master. You've been in CBT. You've been in the word. You've been praying. You've been on your knees. You've been talking to God. But every time you turn around, here comes a viper. Every time you turn around, here comes an old dirty snake. Every time you turn around, here comes somebody that don't understand your destiny and don't understand your purpose. But you got to learn how to shake it off. Yes, 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 yes. God has saved the best for last. I'm still standing. I'm still worshiping. I'm still praising. I'm still living. I still got my mind because I learned how to shake some stuff off. Sometimes you just got to dance. Because while you're dancing, stuff is falling off. Stuff can't stay on. It will come off. Have I got a witness in here? God brought Paul through the storm. But he got to a place where the viper came and he shook it off. Have I got a witness? Ooh. Criticizing them. Suspicious people don't know what's really going on. They don't know that the that the snake is a part of the plan. Have I got a witness? Some people don't know that what you go through is part of God's plan. And we know that all things work together for the good of them. For those that love the Lord, have I got a witness? Ah, uh, Joseph was in the pit, but he shook it off. Have I got a witness in here? Daniel was in the lion's den, but he learned how to shake it off. The woman had an issue of blood, but she learned how to shake off the doctor's reports. Have I got a witness in here? Lean on somebody and say, neighbor, you got to learn how to shake off a crisis. You got to learn how to shake it off. You got to learn how to let it go. You got to learn how to get it off of you. You got to learn how to shake off your critics. Have I got a witness in here? Touch your neighbor and say, learn how to shake off the criticism of others. Ah! My, 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 my. I said, my, my, my. I feel a good shaking going on. I feel a shake, rattle, and roll. Yes, yes, you got to shake like that. Shake it off. Ah! Lean on your neighbor, say neighbor, shake it off, yeah, yeah. Shake 
Shake off depression. Shake off sickness. Shake off poverty. Shake it off. Shake it off. Yeah. Get on out of here, Lucifer. How many in this room have been the object of people's words? How many people in here have heard people say it's not going to work? They're never going to make it. This church thing you're doing won't last very long. I don't know why you're going to Bible study. I don't know why you're praying like you're praying. Ain't nothing good going to happen out of this. Have I got a witness in this house? But you got to understand what God has told you. If God told you and God gave you a word, you got to believe on what God has told you to, to do. Do I have any witnesses in here? Why don't you just touch yourself in the chest and say, I'm highly favored. I'm walking in good success. I know it's November and we ain't got but one more month left, but I'm still favored by the Lord. Have I got a witness? And before I get out of 2015, I'm going to shake some of this junk off. Do I have a witness in this house? Uh, why don't you lean on your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's shaking time. Have I got a witness in this house? It's shaking time. Paul, uh, the viper hung on to his hand. But after it hung on to him and tried to kill him, he the Bible says that he shook it off into the fire. Have I got a witness? I want you to know that when you're faithful to God and when you obey God, sometimes the very thing that God has you doing will kill the enemy because God had him to make a fire and the fire was started and even though the snake came from off to the side while he was making the fire the snake died in the fire have don't you mess with me don't you put your mouth on the man of God don't you touch your brother or your sister touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm do I have any anointed people in this house touch your neighbor say I'm anointed don't you mess with me because I am anointed you got to be able to tell the devil devil I am I'm anointed devil I've been designed to do this devil I've been called to do this and you trying to kill me you're trying to poison me but while you're trying to poison me I'm gonna shake off the enemy have I got a witness in this house when you learn how to shake off criticisms when you learn how to shake off a crisis then you will see the glory of the Lord. Do I have a witnesses in here? There are all kind of testimonies in the Bible that gives us a reference for when people shook off the enemy. Have I got a witness in this house? But I don't even have to go back to the Bible to find a testimony that somebody in this room that know when you're faithful to God and when you trust God God, the Lord will give you what to do and how to do it. Have I got a witness in here? The reason why I'm here right now is because I learned how to shake some stuff off. Have I got a witness in here? All of us in here have made some mistakes. All of us in here had had to deal with some stuff. But if it hadn't been for the Lord that was on our side, where would we be? Have I got a witness in here? You can sit there and look like God ain't been to you. But somebody in here had to deal with some snakes. All dirty snakes. All lion snakes. All backbiting snakes. All 
cankerous snakes, all lying snakes, all dirty snakes, all misusing your snakes. Have I got a witness in here? But Paul knew that if the Lord could save him out of a storm, he could save him from a viper. Have I got a witness in here? If the Lord could save him through the storm, he could take care of a little snake. If the Lord could help him to an island that means refuge, he can take care of him. Oh Lord, a little old snake. Have I got a witness in here? That was an old mule that got on the farmer's nerve. He got on the nerve so bad that he took a shovel and he dug a big old hole. He said, I'm sick of this. Oh mule, oh lazy mule, getting on my nerves. So I dug a big hole. He dug a big old hole and he put the mule down in the hole and he took the shovel and got the shovel and took the dirt and put it over the mule kept putting in the hole in the hole but every time the man would put dirt on the mule the mule would take his legs and kick the dirt off and then pack the dirt under his feet have I got a witness in here there's some people that try to treat you like an old mule they don't want to see you praise they don't want to see you write your book they don't want to see you get your degree they don't want to see you be successful 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 success is all in this house I said success is all in this house favor is in this house prosperity is in this house joy is in this house newness of life is in this house say yes but he kept on throwing the dirt on the mule and the mule would take the dirt and pack it under his feet that's what happened. That's why I'm surviving. Hey, hey, yes. Put the devil under your feet. Yes. And then pack that old devil. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Oh, 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 oh neighbor. You went through. But put the devil under your feet you may have to cry but put the devil under your feet say yes stop your crying stop your complaining and shake it off shake it off matter of fact throw it off whatever's got you bound throw it off whatever Stronghold. Whatever is a stronghold, take it off. Woo! Take it off. Shake it until you're anointed. Shake it until joy comes. Shake it until the Lord set you free. Yes. Oh, why do you holler? I holler. Cause I'm free. Oh, oh. Shake off. Shake off alcohol. Shake off drugs. Be delivered. The power of the Lord. Hello. Say yes. Shake it off. I said, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake, 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 shake until you're free, shake until God get the glory, shake. God. 
it won't work it won't work hallelujah hallelujah I just dare somebody to holler that out in the atmosphere it won't work oh it won't work hallelujah 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 come on I just dare somebody to scream that in the atmosphere one more time it won't work hallelujah hallelujah somebody ought to tell the devil you're fired hallelujah hallelujah you don't work no more you're fired hallelujah it won't work oh ah! yeah, yeah. it won't work glory to god hallelujah 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 glory to god we gotta go we gotta go how what you say it won't work come on if it hasn't taken you out yet it's not gonna take you out somebody shout it won't work Just put your hands together. All right, come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. It won't work. It won't work. Hallelujah. Come on, every time you see that viper with his fangs out, you ought to just holler, it won't work. Hallelujah. I ain't scared of you no more. It won't work. Hallelujah. It won't work. <laughs> it won't work. Hallelujah. All right. We got to we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. But that ought to be your declaration the rest of this week. It 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 it, it, it won't work. Tomorrow it won't work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do like Reverend Humphrey. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. 
Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise. Come on, what a powerful word for our lives on today. Hallelujah. Sometimes we just need to be reminded what the word of God says concerning our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm a witness. I'm a witness. There's a lot of things the enemy has put in my path, but it didn't work. It didn't work. I, I ain't going to say it didn't hurt, but it didn't work. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 